Product number one is a baby. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, but actually, for real, product number one is a Hakka, and I give this a 10 out of 10 because I use it literally every single time I breastfeed. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is flip this top part inside out and attach it to the opposite nipple when you're feeding, and it collects like half a feeding's worth of milk while you're feeding your baby. So if you're breastfeeding, you should 100% get one of these. It also helps you save a bunch of time because you don't have to pump that milk at a different time. The second thing is bottles. Just because I'm breastfeeding doesn't mean I'm always feeding from the breast all the time. I think these are super helpful because Justin can feed Will sometimes when I'm gone or sometimes Will's super fussy on the boob and refuses to breastfeed, uh, but he still has to eat. I mean, you can do without because you do have boobs, but for me, I would rank them 10 out of 10. The only thing you should be aware of is the nipple size when you buy your bottles. These nipples, even though they're both size small, this one is too big for Will and he can't really like drink from this. So when you're getting bottles, make sure you get like a nipple that your baby can actually drink from because otherwise that can be really frustrating for both you and the baby bottle warmer too bad these things aren't cord free but if you're bottle feeding you 100 percent need a bottle warmer just because i'm 100 percent sure you can't warm up breast milk in a microwave i mean i think you can but you're not supposed to because it gets like heat patches or something importance 10 out of 10 when your baby's hungry, you want to warm that bottle real fast. I kind of wish it had its own like self timer function. That'd be awesome if we were like set it for like three minutes and then it just like stopped. But a lot of times we have to set a timer either like on our phones or on our watch and then we have to like come back and get it because if you leave it on, the ball gets too hot. But otherwise, it's great because it warms up pretty quick. All right, masking tape and Sharpie. Is this a breastfeeding tool? <laughs> yes. Importance, 10 out of 10, because you gotta label your bottles if you're saving up breast milk for later. We usually label with date, time, and I guess amount. The amount part probably doesn't really matter too much. This is super important because breast milk has a shelf life and you wanna make sure that your baby's drinking not expired breast milk. Nursing bras. Um, importance wise, I would give it a maybe 7 out of 10 just because I don't think you necessarily need a specific nursing bra to be able to nurse. You can always just take your bra off, but these ones are pretty great if you do want to keep wearing your bra while you're nursing because it has this unclasp thing and you can just feed your baby from your exposed boobie. So I guess essentially it's nice because it's more convenient. When do I use it? I literally wear one of these bras every day. I got a three pack and so I just have them in rotation. Well, actually the interesting thing is I never used to wear a bra when I went to bed, but now I do because if I'm not wearing a bra, my boobs will like leak. So maybe it is kind of important. All right, nursing pads. So importance wise, I'd give these a 10 out of 10. I don't wanna leak through my shirts and I don't wanna have to wash my bras all the time. So I find these super helpful. I can't really compare to any other nursing pads because I haven't used them, but what I've noticed is that a lot of disposable nursing pads have this like thin plastic outer edge, which can get kind of itchy. So when I'm using them, I find that I fold them down, at least on the top and the bottom, because it's just kind of irritating otherwise. I started using these when I got home from the 21, so during week one, and I use them literally all day. I wear them during the day and I wear them at night when I sleep. All right, breast pump. The one that I use is called the Spectra. <sighs> I would have given this a 10 out of 10 before I got the Hakka, but now that I have the Hakka, I would give this an eight out of 10. The only thing I would be wary of when I'm buying a pump is the flange size. So I didn't know this when I first bought this pump, it came with a couple different flanges, but it turned out that all of them were too big for my nipples, which meant like I wasn't pumping as much as I could or like optimally. So make sure before you buy a pump to measure your nipple size and get a flange that's like your correct nipple size so it doesn't like damage your nipples and you actually like pump more or better. Another bra! <laughs> All right, this is not the same bra as before. It's a hands-free pumping bra. It has these overlapping holes where you can slip in, these aren't assembled obviously, but you can slip in the flange and your nipple goes in here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, then your hands are free while you're pumping so you can do things like text your friends 
or drink water or do something else. I wish I had had it when I first started pumping just because you're like doing all this other stuff anyway. It's so annoying that your hands are tied up like holding bottles while you're pumping. Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. Level of importance, maybe six out of 10. Like the first time that Will latch, my nipples were like bleeding and they were kind of like scabbing and stuff. For anyone who's concerned, apparently it's okay for babies to still breastfeed even if your nipples are bleeding. I mean, it, was, it wasn't like crazy. It wasn't like, it was like flowing blood, but it was just like maybe like one or two drops and just like a little like crusty or scabby afterwards. This helped at the time. Uh, just because it's a little bit, it's basically like chapstick for your nipples. If you are having issues with your nipples getting dry or like chapped or something, honestly the best thing is just your own breast milk. Just like squeeze out some breast milk and leave it on there to dry and your nipple should be fine. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Breast shells. Alright, so these breast shells um, I guess are an alternative to using disposable nursing pads because essentially you can just stick them in your bra. You put your nipple through here and they're, they collect any milk that's kind of dripping throughout the day. These particular Philips ones come with two different caps. One of them has like holes up top for breathability so your boobs aren't like suffocating. The other one is closed that you can wear at nighttime so if you do like roll over or something, milk doesn't like leak out the top. So importance wise, I would give them a five out of 10, maybe even less. I wish they were higher because I like the idea of them a lot, but yeah, sadly, they leak a little bit. They kind of hurt my nipple when I'm taking them off. I really wish I liked these more. I just don't, <laughs> sadly. All right, this is the nursing supplemental system. I think that's what it's like officially called. Essentially how it works is you fill up this bottle with milk or formula and you wear it around your neck and this tube gets um, taped up next to your nipple essentially so when the baby's breastfeeding and just learning how to latch sometimes they can get frustrated just because maybe your milk's not flowing fast enough or something but they can drink out of your nipple while also drinking out of whoops while also drinking out of the bottle and it was super helpful when you're first starting to breastfeed when your milk's first coming in and maybe you don't have like that much milk or if your flow is kind of slow and the baby is like getting frustrated because you're like sucking and nothing's coming out. I mean, this product is probably not something that you're gonna keep using throughout your breastfeeding journey, but I used it the first, maybe like twice during those first couple days. And it was very, I guess, stress reducing in a lot of ways, knowing that milk could latch and also just like feed from the boob as long as like milk was coming. So do you need all these tools? Not necessarily. I found them super helpful just because I, find, I think breastfeeding can be very like complicated and difficult sometimes. But if you do wanna make it easier for yourself and also for your baby, you don't want your baby to get frustrated while they're frustrated while they're feeding. Um, yeah, the links are in the description down below. Well, he was sleeping. Why is he sleeping so long today? Oh, he's so big. <laughs> oh my god, he looks like a giant compared to you. Compared to me? Yeah. Aww. I think this photo looks like a giant baby. <laughs> he's so tired. Look at our breastfeeding product number one. 